There comes a time in every person's life where they meet the one true love. With the one true love. Their soulmate, their destiny. The person who will know them and understand them for the rest of their life. That moment came for Cain 20 years ago when he met me. <laughs> I suppose I should introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Adam. I've known Kane for a very long time, since preschool now, and been best friends since. He's like a brother to me. <laughs> to be asked by Kane on this important day to be best man is a great honour and a privilege. After all these long years, you finally admit I'm the best man. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'd like to say how lovely and well turned out everyone looks today. Of course, none more than our lovely bridesmaids who look fantastic in their beautiful dresses. Speaking of beautiful, our bride, Sarah, looks simply stunning. It is easy to see how Kane has become so enchanted. If I may say, your beauty makes Kane look more handsome than he really is. Of course I'm joking. As Cain looks dazzling today, although it could just be the light reflecting off his hair. Cain has been a great friend to me, and while it will be impossible to summarise the last 20 years, I would like to say that over this time has been the best friend anyone could hope for. You'll be happy to, that, to know that we're nearing the end of the speech, so before the toast, I will now take this opportunity to congratulate Cain and Sarah Anyone who has been lucky enough to spend time in, in their company knows a great pair they really are. It seems everyone here today is having a great time and this is mainly down to the weeks and months of planning by Kane and Sarah. They have done an incredible job and spent an incredible amount of money to make this such a special day. Now it gives me a great pleasure. Can you ask to all stand and raise your glasses to the newlywed couple? May you live as long as you like, and love as long as you live. To Kane and Sarah. Um, can I just say firstly, Kev, you are rocking that purple shirt. Absolutely killing it in the purple, man. Yeah, Kev, yeah! And also, whatever wine I'm drinking, can I have some more? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, 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 I'll do it. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, I'm Alison, and for those of you who do, you are truly blessed. I'm also known as the other love of Sarah's life, or to Kane, as a part of the furniture. I've known Sarah for close to five years now. We met in 2009 when we were both working for Duffy Brothers. You know that fruit shop in Richmond that shut down? Yeah. That was us! <laughs> To say that Sarah and I hit it, up from, hit it off from the beginning is a blatant lie. Thank you. It took at least two weeks for Sarah and her eardrums to adjust to hearing my voice every day. <laughs> and even longer for me to realise that not everybody is as loud as I am, so I shouldn't have called her a miserable, rude bitch for being shy. <laughs> <laughs> but sure enough, it wasn't long after and we're basically inseparable. I was instantly adopted as... Carolyn's third and favourite daughter. <laughs> it is an absolute honour to know the person that Sarah has blossomed into and become over the years. And an even bigger honour to stand by you on such an important... Oh, I'll start again. Such a special and important day. Sarah, you are the most beautiful, kind-hearted, headstrong, selfless, loyal and generous human being I've ever come to know. Woo! You know me like nobody else, you can read my mind with a simple look and still want to speak to me after all my annoying habits. We have a million or more memories I'll keep close to my, uh, my heart. Your eyes. Yep, <laughs> yep, we'll just start that again. Um, and some I really wouldn't mind erasing from my mind altogether. You make me so proud to call you my best friend. You're the closest thing I have to a sister. You look absolutely stunning tonight. Yes! Yes! And Kane, I'm sure you know just how lucky you are to have such an amazing woman sitting by your side. Yeah. Some of you? Yeah, yeah you do. 
Some of you may not know, but Sarah was in a really serious relationship before meeting Kane. The two spent countless nights together <laughs> through thick and thin. He was the only one she could rely on. The real love of Sarah's life as a 19-year-old was RG McGee's. <laughs> <laughs> she was highly responsible for the hotel's consecutive Saturday night's profits during 2011. <laughs> Being 16 at the time, I was unable to be alongside Sarah as she got trolley rides home to Hobartville, took endless selfies with randoms, danced through Richmond Oval and woke up on Struggle Street every Sunday morning. As her best friend, I'd not only like to extend my thanks to the staff at RG's for giving her somewhere to nap occasionally when she passed out, but also to Sarah. Without your bad influencing and misguidance during my under eight years, I would never have turned into the raging vodka holic that I am today. <laughs> <laughs> my liver hates you! <laughs> I can easily recall the first time I met Kane. Well, how could I forget? 30 minutes prior, Sarah waxed three quarters of my eyebrow off! <laughs> and she proceeded to tell me, no, no, you can't tell. It was gone. <laughs> anyway, Kane was showing off, trying to be buffed in front of his new Colorado. I thought he was actually a gnome in my garden. <laughs> yeah, you were. I was. Very sexy gnome. The three of us sat out the front of my house for hours, talking about every aspect of our lives. The good, the weird, the funny and the sad. Throughout that conversation, I witnessed time and time again how much Kane cared for Sarah. He was crazy about her and her smile lit up every time their faces met. Sarah, are you listening to me? Good. I, I, I wasn't sure. I could see you talking. Oh, you had one job. You, Kane. Guys. You, Kane, have such an awesome, laid-back and carefree persona. You are fun, trustworthy and loving. So basically, a midget version of a gentle giant. <laughs> I knew instantly why he was the man to marry my best friend today. That very first night and every day since, they have shown me through example the meaning of true love. And I can only hope to find a love as special as Sarah and Kane's. When I look at the two of you, I see love, laughter, and happily ever after. I can't wait to see where your new life takes you. If there is such a thing as soulmates, there is no doubt in my mind that Cain was meant for Sarah, and Sarah was meant for Cain. Go. <laughs> sure. So in following those two, mine's just kind of some horror stories of Sarah. So you're not going to get the lovey-dovey and laughing stuff, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> but she'll give it a solid go. You make it hard! <laughs> okay, so first I'd like to start off by saying obviously thank you to everyone for, am I not loud enough? For coming. Um, I'm Nikki, in case you don't know, I met Sarah at Glenwood High, God knows what year, it was too long, yeah I know, tell me about it. Um, <laughs> and saved, saved her from a really horrible person. So the first day at Glenwood High, she was befriended by a really horrible person. I remember walking over to her, asking her name, and I said to her, let's go, I'm here to save you. And we've been friends ever since. One day at school, when it was bucking down with rain, Sarah and I were sent out to run errands. It, it took a bit longer than it should have because we made a few details through the rain. By the time we got back to class, we were absolutely saturated. Let's just say that Sarah was really popular with the boys that day, white, wet shirt and all. <laughs> 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 we were both in dance class together, which let's just say is probably the best class anyone can get at high school because you kind of do nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were always paired up, so quite often in our dances I had to lift Sarah up. Which yeah, where's my video? She was kind of like. <laughs> but she didn't exactly have the best coordination, so through many stats we had a lot of bruises but many memories. I don't actually think we stacked it on the night of the performance either. No, we did well. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> My mum used to drop me off at Sarah's house most mornings on her way to work so I could walk to school with Sarah. 
every single morning we knew we had to stop at Woolies so Sarah could buy her tub of Betty Crocker vanilla frosting. If any of you have seen her eat it, trust me, don't ask for any, you won't get any. <laughs> She'd spend most of the walk to school and most of the day at school picking out on her frosting and that's it. <laughs> How she stayed that tiny is completely bloody beyond me. <laughs> if you have a secret, please do share. Holt and <laughs> I want to be part of that family. <laughs> <laughs> you can have their babies for them. No, no. <laughs> Not touching this. <laughs> okay, I remember a really young Indian boy named Kabir. One of Sarah's first boyfriends at school. He's, which we now know is apparently like one of the sexiest models for Blacktown West Boy. You've ever been there. He's pretty good looking. He's, uh, he's doing pretty well. <laughs> she she got the right She did, yes. So she dated him for about a week, and their relationship generally consisted of texting, note passing, messages between friends, that kind of thing, because they were too nervous to talk to each other. At the end of the week, Kabir sent two of his minions over to say to Sarah that he was breaking up with her. Being pretty, well, PO'd, Sarah and I have kind of head over there to have a bit of a conversation with him, which is really unlike Sarah. Sarah went to go say something to Kabir. He turned around to her and said, I'll keep it PG, shut up, B-I-T-C-H. Within seconds, I don't know how it happened, my hand had hit him straight across the face. The look, the look on Sarah's face was priceless because let's face it, she's not going to do it, is she? Nah. <laughs> We've got to speak up for her, you know. Pardon? He wasn't worth no, the he wasn't. Yeah, that's exactly right. He wasn't worth it, speak up, trust me. <laughs> I won't say that one. <laughs> Why are you not talking to this? Okay, I don't think any of the boys are really going to talk to her for probably about a month afterwards to say anything really mean. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's like, yeah, you get the double wing with that one. Okay, so... Where am I? Fuck, I'm lost. Okay, hold on, wait. <laughs> there are many stories I could continue with, like uh, youth camp, for example. I don't think Sarah wants to go there. But we'll save that one for another day, shall we? I'd like to say, um, the first time Sarah introduced me to Kane. I was kind of, well, that's all I could think. He was quiet, sweet, shy, tiny, which was perfect. Because um, they kind of match that way, don't they? They look little minions, you know? Yeah, who did the cute? Yes, they are. I've grown to know him and I realise he's absolutely 100% perfect for Sarah. He's sweet, kind and hopelessly madly in love with this girl and as she is to him. Uh, I wish you both a long, happy and loving marriage. So, a toast to the newlyweds. As you begin this new and exciting chapter in your lives together, look back on today and remember what brought you to this moment. No matter what life throws your way, let the memories of falling in love make you strong and there'll be no obstacle you cannot overcome. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness together. Give kiss, me kiss, a drink. Kiss, 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 kiss. That was on the end, just adding that in. Oh, lot, lots of kisses. <laughs> to Kane and Sarah. Kane and Sarah. 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 Yay! Let's get drunk! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> They're very big words. Um, as Kane knows. Here's my food. Drunk heads up. <laughs> Kane, just a quick few words of advice for you. Um, please, remember the upper goes. Because I don't like waking up to a screaming Bridezilla. Thanks, <laughs> 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 guys. Okay, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the evening would not be complete without hearing from Mr. and Mrs. Popham. Please take the mic. Absolutely. Everyone, drop music for it too. I guess we'll let Sarah talk first if I can get this thing on. Alright, she's not gonna talk at all. No, it's on it's on little man settings, don't worry. Is it going over there or is it coming in? Alright. Alright everyone, um I guess I'm gonna say thank you for all coming. I am winging this completely. So let's uh, go for this, alright?
All right, let's thank everyone for being here. I hope you've had a great time. None of this could be here if it wasn't Sarah, honestly. I have barely done a thing. She's done everything. Let's admit it. Let's all admit it. Yeah. Clap it loud. Get as loud as you can. Come on, guys. Is that all? Is that all we're going to give up? Come on. Raise it. That's better. Let's not get lame. Yeah, I want to thank everyone that's come from a distance. Thank you so much. It means lots to me and Sarah. Yes, we say thank the family. For everyone for coming. Phil. Thank you, Dean. Great job. The grooms, the groomsmen, bridesmaids, the they've done it. They all look fantastic, don't they? Oh, you know it. Clap it up. Are we going to clap for them too or no? Yeah, we go. Fair time, guys. Um, yeah, just thank you is all I can say to you as a lady. Like, appreciate everything coming and not. Not turning up, I guess. <laughs> You're pretty dirty if you didn't. You can always go. Well, that dickhead didn't. Stuff him. He can go now. Yeah. Well, who likes that guy now? That's Cody. Yeah. No, he's, he's gone. Matt, Amanda, you guys have done a fantastic job. Emily. Emily, thank you for joining in with that. Yeah, he's You've done well, running around. <laughs> Who else is there to thank in here? Um, Maybe Danny and Drew. You can shut up a bit. Sure. Well, Let's just recollect, right? About two hours last night. Oh, yeah. Scott has complained non stop about his shoes. The big girl. What a soup. Don't clap him. <laughs> yeah, um, we've got to thank Mum, Dad for picking up, or, and Caroline, I think, helps. I don't know, but. Someone picked all the crap up from the ceremony. I don't know who it was. I guess I'll thank you. Tell us the story. Uh, <laughs> Nikki for ironing Sarah's dress. Yeah. I guess that happens. <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy having beers. I <laughs> didn't know what happened there. So Scott knows what we're talking about. <laughs> um, I guess I want to thank you. Gezia, where are you? There you are. Thank yeah, you for doing the hair. You've done a fantastic job with these girls. And you got the ring. Who forgot that, hey? No pointing fingers. Um, I guess I want to think, who else can we think? Uh, Cassie. Yeah, I'm not dead yet. Take it easy, Turk. Look at this, he's trying to rush me. Cassie for doing the music. She's done a fantastic job. Let's all give her a round of applause. Yeah. That's it. Uh, the DJ's doing a very good job too. We'll give him a round of applause. Yeah, who knows? Um, who else we got to be? I guess, um, am, am, I, am I done? No, we're not going to send me brother. He's just whinging out there. <laughs> well, you can sit down too. You've done nothing. Emily? Yeah, no, but we're just trying to make sure we think everyone else. Sarah's class, because it's big for her. <laughs> I guess we think Ed, Ed, Bruce, everyone, Annie, my aunties, both of them, my nan and granddad, who else come from really far? You come from, you come from nowhere. What about Dad? No, you can stand out there, he's alright, he knows you come from far. Out there, yeah, you know you. I guess that's it, thank you all for coming so far. Guess, yeah, give him a clap, come on. Thank you every, very much for coming. Then, oi, let's all make the loudest possible noise and biggest toast we can ever make to Sarah. Yeah! Because she looks bloody fantastic. Yeah! We all know it. Yes! Yes, come on! And she's done all this pretty much on her own. So, yeah, you did well, baby. Thank you. <laughs> you want to say thank you to anyone? No, nah, she's done. <laughs> she obviously doesn't talk very much. <laughs> We know who the short one is. Hey, Steve. It's Oh, Alison, you are. Thank you, Alison. You did so well. Woo! Drink that bottle of wine. Thanks, Sarah. Now, I'm not sure on the floor.